what's happening party people it's Cisco here and I have a very exciting video today maybe not so exciting for everybody else because I'm the one that has the cool toy but we're doing a mail opening and unboxing I have one piece of mail quite large um it, it, it's a lot larger than I think it should be uh it's a doll in case you are wondering what I do on this channel so I think it's just like inside a big box inside the package but let's let's like hurry up and open it because I've been I got this when I got home from work and I've been waiting all day to film. So this doll, I'll explain more about it when I get her out. But this doll is a European exclusive doll. And I will give you some more info once you see who it is. You might already know who it is because it might be in the thumbnail, I don't know. But waiting for this doll was a nightmare because I had to import her from a website that didn't really have the best reviews, but it was literally the only option. And as soon as I had my eyes, on this doll, I knew I had to have her. Why did I get scissors if I was just gonna rip it open with my hands? <laughs> she is, in fact, in the box. So getting getting this was a whole thing. I had to import it. Uh, it came from the Netherlands, so I was having to track it through a bunch of weird shipping websites and through a bunch of weird ports of transit in Europe that I couldn't pronounce. And today, I finally got her. <laughs> So let me just go ahead and show you who I'm talking about so then I can give you the down low on why this was such a hassle and why I wasn't even totally sure if she would show up. Oh my god. So this is the doll that I wasn't sure was gonna show up or not. So this, her name is Giselle and she is a VIP Hair Academy doll and like just like, look at her. Look at her, look at her outfit. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm holding her right now. So let me give you the down low. First of all, is this not the cutest doll you've ever seen in your fucking life, right? Like this was a rabbit hole that I went down as soon as I saw this doll specifically, I knew I had to have her. So let me give you the down low. So it, a lot of you have probably seen very recently, there are some new dolls at Walmart and they're called like the VIP hair dolls. And I was like, oh, they're cute, but they're not really like my style. They're really cute. And there was a picture of three girls on the back of that box. And the one that I saw that I liked, I was like, that one's not a doll. I looked it up. There's like a third girl on the back of the box that apparently doesn't have a doll. But while I was looking up to see if that girl on the box had a doll, I found that there was another line of dolls that were called like VIP hair dolls, but these ones were VIP hair academy. And they're made by the same maker, they're by IMC Toys, which are the same people who did the, the VIP hair pets or whatever the hell. I saw these in like the like recommended pictures under another Google search I was doing for the VIP hair dolls. And I saw her and I was like, oh, she looks like really similar. And I saw a bunch of other dolls that look like this and look similar. So I was like, oh, is that part of the, is that part of the, the this line? And they're just like, maybe not out yet. No. So the T is that the VIP Hair Academy dolls, they I think they've been out for about a year or two. Mind you, I can't actually find a whole lot of information about these dolls because they're European exclusive dolls. The VIP Hair Academy dolls were never sold in the US, not even online. And one of the reasons why I wasn't totally sure if she was gonna show up is because I bought her off of a site called Kid In, which is a sub section of, I think the whole website's called Trade In. But basically what it seems to be is an import site. And it was the only place that had her for sale available in the US other than people who were charging like a, a crap ton of money for her like on eBay and Mercari. I never used that site before and honestly, it, if you go and look, it has a insane amount of mixed reviews, but there were enough realistic good reviews that I was like, you know what, I can deal with that. At the very worst, I'll probably just have to like file for a, a chargeback or whatever and get my money back. So I took the risk and it paid off because she is here in my hands. The shipping was about as long as they said it was and it only took an extra day. So honestly, I'm probably gonna write a pretty glowing review for this website because at least for my purposes, it did exactly what I needed it to. There's actually a whole like series that goes along with her for the VIP Hair Academy dolls and they are all like some of the most gorgeous, like cute, insane looking dolls like I've ever seen. This is the one I wanted the most because like, look at her, she's she's pink, it's, it's insane. So you can kind of see on the back of the box, this is just the art, but like, look at how cute they all look. I don't know all of their names. Oh wait, their names are right there. 
I like Mia. And Mia's this one right here. But I literally want all of them. They are all crazy cute. But Giselle was my pick, so. Let me like get her out real quick so I can show her off without the box being around her. All right, and here she is out of her box. And oh my God, she's so cute. -a. What really drew me to this doll was just this like obnoxiously adorable pleated plaid skirt she's got on, like, come on. And her cute, like precious little like long pink hair. It's got like a touch of like purple and blue in it. And it's like really soft too. Like it's really nice hair. So if you don't know, um, if you can't tell just by the way she looks, um, she is owned by the same company, IMC Toys, that makes the BFF Crybaby dolls that I have done, I think two videos on in the past. Um, but she's got like the same like kind of face mold, but like more like fashion doll proportions. Like she's like a proper like 11 and a half inch fashion doll but still has the like really cute like inset eyes. And she's just so cute, like, look at her face. It's hard to see in this light, but she's got like little freckles and little hearts on her cheeks. It's so cute. And her little puffy sleeves and the whole gimmick for this line is that they're all like hairstylists. So she's got this little pouch that's got her little styling tools in it. Also, in getting her out, I realized that I was so distracted by how gorgeous the doll is and how amazing that whole line of toys is that I didn't really notice that there was an actual hair gimmick that went along with them. Which like, duh, it's called VIP Hair Academy. Why wouldn't there be a hair gimmick? But like, if you can see this, it's a very long process involved in like doing her hair. And I think, and it comes with this little tool that looks like an ice cream that in the instructions you're supposed to like feed some of her hair through this and it curls it so it's like one of those like automatic hair curlers from the early 2000s that were like so popular and didn't work uh, she comes with this little hair bow that i believe is just supposed to like kind of go like, up on top of her head yeah like that see look how cute that is oh my god also came again i didn't <laughs> Again, I didn't notice this because I was just so distracted by how much I love the doll and how the doll looks. But she came with loads of little hair accessories. Like, she came with a bunch of, oh, and then I dropped them immediately. She came with like a bunch of little like hair bows. It's so small, but like see it, it like folds and clips. So it's like a little bitty teeny tiny doll hair clip. Those are super cute. One of my favorite things about fashion dolls is like super teeny tiny doll accessories like this. It's really fun that there's a gimmick. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's scary and I don't want to ruin my new doll, but it's still really cool and it's a, it looks like it's gonna be a really fun little thing that I can play with later. She's just so nice. Look at her, she's so perfect. Oh my God. And I am so, 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 so happy to finally have Giselle in my collection, but I won't ramble any longer. I could probably just call her cute over and over forever, but I hope you enjoyed unboxing her with me. It was really a fun experience getting to like kind of discover this doll all basically completely of my own volition. So it was an awesome experience, but that's going to wrap it up for this time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.